welcome everyone in this video we are going to learn the process of finding the double integral or evaluating the double integral in case if you are new to the channel you should subscribe it and we are going to take different kind of problems so watch the video till the very end to understand it uh, completely so let's start the first question is evaluate the integral so first of all you should not be you know intimidated by this double integral thing because it is nothing but successive single integral so we will integrate it once at a time so what is the process to understand the process first thing you need to note here that here the limits are already given this is the first kind of problem where the limits are already given like this is given 0 to x square 0 to 5 in some of the problems limit may not be given but you have to decide the limit which you can dis decide and how to decide that also I will discuss so here uh, the limits are already given so first thing that you need to understand here that if limits are in terms of x like this is the limit of 0 to x square so it is 0 to x square so it is what it is the limit in terms of x limit in terms of x means what means this is the limit of limit of y okay and if it is the limit of y then 0 to 5 means this is the limit of x some people confuse it by looking at this uh, you know uh, a term here dx dy so even though it is written dx dy but if you look at the way the limits are given it is giving us the hint that first the limit of y is given so we need to integrate it with respect to y first I repeat here the limits are given in terms of x right so it is the limit of y if the limit are given in terms of y then it will be the limit of x when I'm saying uh, limits are given in terms of x what do I mean by that I mean that these are the functions of x 0 to x square means this is basically uh, ideally if I write the problem it should be written like what it should be written like y is equal to 0 to y is equal to x square and then x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 5 and then x into x square plus y square and since we are taking the limit of y we will integrate it with respect to y first and then we will integrate it with respect to x so let's evaluate it so when we integrate if I am integrating this function with respect to y I have to treat x as constant so I am taking the limit of x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 5 and when I will treat x as constant the first term is x into x square will be x cube and integration of dy will be y right and the second term will be x into y square so x is a constant and integration of y square will be y cube by 3 and the limit of integration because we are integrating it with respect to y so I will put y is equal to 0 to y is equal to x square and then I will integrate it with respect to x now uh, I will take the limit x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 5 and I have to put the limit of y so if I put the limit of y first term is x cube and y means upper limit x square and lower limit here is 0 so x square minus 0 then the second term x by 3 upper limit is what y cube so y cube will be x square cube so in place of y if I put x square it will become x square cube so that will be x to the power 6 and if I put 0 it will become 0 right so this is dx so next step this is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 5 and here x cube into x square so I will get x to the power 5 plus x to the power 7 by 3 this is 3 and then integration with respect to x now if I integrate it so x to the power now I have to integrate it with respect to x so integration of x to the power 5 will give me x to the power 6 by 6 and plus uh, integration of x to the power 7 will give me x to the power 8 and we already have a 3 here so 8 into 3 is 24 the limit of integration of x is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 5 now I have to put the limits so if I put x is equal to 5 I will get 5 to the power 6 by 6 plus 5 to the power 8 by 24 
and minus the lower limit so if I put 0 I will get 0 so finally I have got the answer 5 to the power 6 by 6 plus 5 to the power 8 by 24 I am leaving this uh, means this part you can evaluate just to uh, be clear that what basically it is uh, so this is a big calculation so I am leaving it so this is the answer you simplify it and get the answer so this is the very first type of problem when I say this is the very first type of problem what I mean is that here in this problem everything was already given it was given that uh, what is the limit of x what is the limit of y only thing that I want you to note here that uh, if the limits are in terms of uh, you know x then it will be the limit of y and if the limits are in terms of y then it will be the limit of x so first of all we have to integrate it with respect to that variable whose limit is given first right so I hope this problem is clear to you moving ahead let us look at the next problem so here also it is uh, the first kind of problem where the limits are already given we don't have to do anything so if the limits are already given uh, what we need to do we need to integrate it as per the limit so you see it is uh, 0 to under root 1 minus x squared so the limits are in terms of function of x if see if both the limits are constant then we will uh, follow the process of integrating it inside out for example let me just write one simple example suppose we have a integral where the limits are 0 to a and 0 to b and we have a function f of x y and it is written dx dy so just by looking at the limit because both the limits are constant we don't know whether it is the limit of x or whether it is the limit of y so in that case what we will do we will follow the convention of integrating it inside out so first I will evaluate this integral means first I will evaluate the integral with respect to x and I will put this as the limit of x and then I will integrate it with respect to y and consider this as the limit of y okay so if I solve this uh, let me write it for your convenience this is the limit of uh, you know x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 and this is the limit of y is equal to 0 to y is equal to under root 1 plus x square and I am writing it 1 by 1 plus x square plus y square and since the limit of y is first I am writing dy and then I am writing dx now to integrate this uh, we are going to use a result uh, and see the basic integration result you need to remember otherwise you will not be able to solve so the first result that we are going to use is this integration formula 1 by x square plus a square dx this is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a right here we should add the constant of integration but since we are doing the integration and the limits are given I, I will not add so to apply this uh, first of all I have to integrate it with respect to y so let me rewrite it uh, or can you uh, visualize this because if I look at the denominator here it can be seen as y square plus in place of a since I am considering uh, the x term as constant x square plus 1 under root this will be a constant here so I will write y square plus under root x square plus 1 whole square so if I will integrate it it will be what uh, x 0 to 1 now I am not writing x 0 to x 1 because it is obvious and here the a value is under root x square plus 1 so 1 by a will be 1 by under root x square plus 1 and then I will write tan inverse x so in place of x we have y because we are integrating it with respect to y so I am writing y by in place of a again I will write uh, 1 plus let me write uh, x square plus 1 and then this is uh, the integration with respect to y the limit of y is 0 to under root 1 plus x square and then we write dx now if I integrate it 0 to 1 we have to put the limit of y so what it will become if I put upper limit under root 1 plus x square and here also we have under root 1 plus x square so it will cancel so I will get it under root uh, x square plus 1 and tan inverse 1 I hope you are getting if you put this under root 1 plus x square you will get tan inverse 1 so tan inverse 1 will be equal to pi by 4 
and if I put the lower limit that is 0 so I will get 0 by this so tan inverse 0 is equal to 0 so everything will become 0 so means we will just get this term and then we have to integrate it with respect to x now pi by 4 being a constant can be taken out of the integration and now we have the integration 0 to 1 1 by under root 1 plus x squared dx now the next integration formula that we are going to use is uh, you know um, you know what's what where should I write I should write it over here uh, in the bottom so this integration result that we are going to use is integration of under root x square plus a square dx so this is nothing but log of x plus under root x square plus a square if you do not remember this you will not be able to proceed so I would suggest you to do one thing that first go and write all the in important integration result so that whenever I am using it you are not getting confused so let's uh, move it uh, solve this forward so I will write pi by 4 and here x square plus a square so in place of uh, a we have 1 right so I will write log of uh, x plus under root 1 plus x square right and the limit of integration is 0 to 1 I hope uh, there is no doubt up to this now I have to put the limits so in place of x I have to put 1 so I will take pi by 4 and if I put x is equal to 1 I will get log of uh, 1 plus uh, 1 plus 1 square so that is 2 so under root 2 and if I put 0 log of 0 plus 1 so log of 1 so log of 1 is also 0 so I will write it log of 1 I am writing it for your convenience so the final answer I have got is pi by 4 log of 1 plus under root 2 now I hope by now you might have realized that double integration is not a difficult thing because what basically we are doing we are integrating it two times what is important what is important here that when we are integrating it with respect to y or when we are integrating it with respect to x so how do I decide that I decide that by uh, looking at the limits so if the limits are first the limit of y uh, how do I know that it is the limit of y because these are the function of x I also have explained that if both are constant like 0 to a 0 to b then you don't have to think much you just have to integrate it inside out the way I have written it over here right but uh, the important kind of problems are those problems where the limits are not necessarily directly given but you have to actually decide the limit so when we decide the limit uh, the limits are decided uh, sorry uh, by taking the reason so uh, to decide the limit there must be a reason that will be given and in both the problems that I already have solved actually I was integrating it over a region so for example if you ask me uh, even though the problem is solved but just for understanding sake I am trying to explain this if you ask me what is the reason over which we are basically solving this integral so it is given that we are varying y is equal to 0 to y is equal to x square so basically what we are doing if you uh, draw the uh, you know uh, axis system you call this x axis and you call this y axis right and in this if you ask me sir what is y is equal to 0 so x axis is nothing but y is equal to 0 and what is y is equal to x square so this line is basically this not line sorry this is a parabola which is uh, nothing but the equation of uh, I mean graph of y is equal to x square right so I was integrating it from y is equal to 0 to x square means uh, there is a concept of taking a strip so I was taking an a strip uh, which was a state, uh, starting at y is equal to 0 and it was going up to y is equal to x square and then I was moving this strip from x is equal to 0 means these strips are starting here and it is going forward up to x is equal to 5 suppose I say that this is the uh, point x is equal to 5 so actually I have covered this region this region you can see shaded region so how this reason has, has been covered this reason has been covered by taking the limit of y so the most fundamental concept and I will be very slow in explanation of this problem because once you understand one problem the rest of the problem will be a cakewalk for you so basically what is the main concept in double integral 
the main concept in double integral is the point number one that if the limits are given no problem but if limits are not given we have to decide the limit how do i decide the limit for deciding the limit first we have to uh, identify that over what region we are going to integrate it so here we have to evaluate where r is the region bounded by x axis x, uh, sorry let me first draw the region so let me call this axis as y axis and this axis as x axis okay so uh, it is given that the region is bounded by x axis so this is x axis the line y is equal to 2x so everyone knows that y is equal to 2x is a straight line passing through origin which slope is uh, you know 2 and the parabola y is equal to x square by uh, 4a so this is a parabola which is symmetrical about the y axis you know so it will be like y is equal to x square by 4a so this is how this parabola will look like i hope you know this uh, there are two kinds of parabola so one is y uh, is equal to x square by 4a if i write x is equal to y square so this parabola will be like this symmetrical about x axis now let me read the question again evaluate the double integral where r is the reason over the reason r i mean it is uh, like mi missing here so basically it will be something written like this so evaluate the double integral over the reason r uh, dx dy where r is the reason bounded by x axis the line y is equal to 2x and the parabola so tell me that what is the reason that is bounded the reason that is bounded is o a so this is the reason let me uh, call it i am going from o to a and this so we are getting this region which is lying between o and a uh, and bounded by this like uh, let me shade this region for your understanding so this is the reason that we are getting okay i hope it is clear let me remove this so just give me a minute so that you understand it carefully so I have to cover this region now the question is how to cover this region so there are two ways to cover the region and this is the main point so one way to cover the reason that I can take a vertical strip right and when I will take a vertical strip, if you just draw any line, vertical line, if I ask you that I am drawing a vertical line, I have drawn a vertical line. So this line, vertical line, if I ask you when did it enter the reason, so any vertical line that I am drawing like this or like this, did you notice one thing that it is always entering the reason at this point, this point, this point, and this point. So what is this point? This is the point parabola. And where it is coming out of the reason, it is coming out of the reason at the line y is equal to 2x. Noticing this will help us uh, decide the limit of x and y. Okay. So the point number one is that you take a vertical strip and then you move the vertical strip like you are moving the vertical strip starting at x is equal to 0. You can see the movement here. I am drawing the vertical strip moving, 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 moving. But one thing you notice that vertical strips are always starting at the parabola because I want to just cover this region which has been shaded. Sometimes a student make the mistake. They take the vertical strip starting at 0. So if you start a vertical strip at 0 means y is equal to 0. So y is equal to 0 means what? This point. So means you will start at x axis. So we will cover the extra region. I hope you are getting this point. You don't want to cover this region. This was actually A. So let me call it M. If I take the vertical strip starting at OM, then I will cover the region OAM. But I don't want OAM. I want. I just want this region which I have shaded here. Right. Now, the vertical region helps us to decide the limit of y. Write it if you are write. Uh, you know, if you are having a pen and paper. So vertical limit helps us to decide the limit of y. So where this uh, is starting this is starting at the uh, you know parabola y is equal to x square by 4a so I take the limit of y where it is starting it is starting at y is equal to x square by 4a we always write the limit of y by taking uh, you know the curve and writing the equation of the curve in the form of y is equal to some function of x f1x so y is equal to x square by 4a and then we are going up to the line so the line is y is equal to 2x okay but how this strip has moved so this strip has a strip has moved from the point 0 to point m because the vertical strips has 
been moved horizontally there is a horizontal movement you see you have started here but when you are moving it you are moving it the movement is happening in the horizontal direction so that is helping you to decide the limit of x so how this uh, horizontal movement has happened it has started at 0 so means we started at x is equal to 0 and we arrived at the point x is equal to m now I don't know what is this value uh, you know coordinate of this point m so to find the coordinate of this point m first of all we have to solve this equation these two equations where they are intersecting y is equal to 2x and y is equal to x square by 4a so if you solve it you will get 2x is equal to x square by 4a so basically this gives you what this gives you x square is equal to 8ax so from this you can take x common x minus 8a is equal to 0 so you get two points that is x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 8a so this you can clearly see that the parabola and the line is intersecting at 0 and point 8a okay point 8a so this coordinate is point 8a so I write x is equal to 8a and then we have xy since I have written the limit of y first I am writing dy and then I am writing dx I hope there is no doubt up to this so once I have decided the limit the next step is to evaluate it and I think evaluation part is not that difficult so I'm changing the color I'm evaluating it X is varying from 0 to 8a now now I hope it is also clear to you that if this point is 8a and the line is y is equal to uh, you know uh, 2x so the coordinate of point 8a a is 8a comma 16a so this distance in the direction of y this point is basically 16a I will use this in uh, explaining it in a uh, different way so I have taken it y is equal to 0 to 8a and I have to integrate it with respect to y so x will be a constant when you are integrating it with respect to y you will integrate it y square by 2 limit of integration of y is x square by 4a to 2x this is the limit of y and then it is dx so if I simplify it I will get 0 to 8a and x by 2 is a uh, you know uh, you know what is because x by 2 is already there so I'm writing and y square so if I take y means 2 2x so it will be 4x square and minus uh, in place of y if I put x square by 4a I will get x to the power 4 and by 4a means 16a square and then dx now I need to integrate it further so uh, I will get x by 2 into 4x square so how much is that this 4 and 2 cancel let me write one more step otherwise there will be a confusion so I will get the first term as 2x cube and second term will be uh, x to the power 5 divided by 32a square and then dx to save a space I am writing over here so I will get 2 x to the power 4 by 4 and uh, minus uh, it is x to the power uh, 5 so it in C integration will be x to the power 6 by 6 into 32a square and the limit of integration will be 0 to 8a okay now uh, this can be cancelled it will become x to the power 4 by 2 so I, if I put the limits I will get 1 by 2 and in place of x I will put 8a to the power 4 and minus here we have 1 by uh, 6 into 32 means 192a square and uh, 8a to the power uh, 6 right so if you evaluate it I leave this for you to evaluate and verify uh, and uh, let me know what is the answer but I believe that if you evaluate it uh, you will be uh, able to uh, get the value that is uh, 2048 by 3 I have uh, I am writing it 2048 by 3 and then you will get uh, a to the power 4 right so you can verify this that here you will get a to the power 4 and here a to the power 6 and a square will be cancelled so you just verify that this is the answer okay so I hope by now everything is clear so I have solved the problem in one way but what I am going to do the next that I am going to solve the same problem in a different way 
so that you understand the idea that how this works and if you are able to understand this then uh, possibly the concept will be very clear to you so you have just seen the problem solving through one method now let us quickly go through another method okay so uh, what is another way so when i was solving it i was taking a vertical strip but let me uh, draw the reason again and this time i'll be quick because i already have explained you once so this was the reason that i was looking for this is the parabola and this was the line right so this is actually not a graph which i am drawing using the scale so this is just a sketch of the graph you may not necessarily you know have the units properly taken so that you can ignore because when we draw we draw the sketch so we have to cover this is point o this is point a and this is point m now uh, one way to cover this reason is like one uh, one thing that i have done in the earlier part that i was taking a vertical strip and then i was moving it from o to m what we we could have done also that we could have taken a horizontal strip now see how the horizontal strip will move so to cover this region i am taking the horizontal strip and see the movement of the horizontal strip it is starting at the you know line and going up to the parabola and when i am moving it it is this movement is happening in the vertical direction can you see this is how this reason has been covered and just to understand it better like i explained you uh, in the you know previous problem that if i just draw any line then you can clearly see that where the line will enter the reason the line will enter the reason at this line this line which line the line whose equation is y is equal to 2x and when this line will come out of the reason it will come out of the reason at the parabola so this will help us to decide the limit of uh, you know x so let me write it so the problem is that we have x into y and since i'm going to write the limit of x first i'm writing dx and then dy so how will you take the limit of x uh, point number one vertical strip gives you the limit of y horizontal strip gives you the limit of x when you write the limit of x you write x in terms of y so your line is y is equal to 2x but you have to write the limit of x so you have to write x in terms of y so x will be equal to y by 2 so here the lower limit x is equal to y by 2 x in terms of y now it is going up to the parabola so the parabola is y is equal to x square by 4a so i will write x square is equal to 4ay so what will be x in terms of y x in terms of y will be under root 4ay so i will write x is equal to under root 4ay so another thing that you noted here that if li limit is in terms of y because y by 2 to under root 4ay means it is the limit of x and how i have to move i have to move this uh, what horizontal strip sorry from this point o and we are moving it vertically and going up to this point so the vertical movement has happened from o to n if i call this point so the vertical movement has happened from o to n and the coordinate of this point earlier we have seen is 8a comma 16a so the limit of y means at this point you are at y is equal to 0 and if you move it vertically you go up to y is equal to uh, 16a so i will write y is equal to 16a right now if you evaluate it you will get the answer now i am not going to evaluate this this process is simple now you have to integrate it with respect to x first let me write the first step so it is y is equal to 0 to 16 a and since you have to integrate it with respect to x first now you will take y and then you will write x square by 2 and limit will be y by 2 to under root 4 a y and then you have to integrate it with respect to y i would suggest you that complete the solution and let me know that whether you are getting the same answer or not that is 2048 by 3 2048 by 3 e to the power 4 yes if you don't get the same answer you can uh, let me know through the comment section that i have not got the same answer then i can verify okay so three problems already done but since i want to be very clear about the concept so that uh, i want all of you to be very clear about the concept i am going to take more problems so we have this problem 
then I will take this problem we have problems in polar coordinate this problem so there are three four more problems I am going to take so uh, keep watching till the very end so that you follow it now the question is evaluate the double integral over the reason R uh, over the reason R where R is the reason given by this so the reason may be given like this also right now uh, here if you want to uh, write the reason or draw the reason that will help you to understand the problem better otherwise you could have uh, done it directly also so there are uh, this is a very important problem because there are many concepts involved in it first is just look at this way so suppose I just want uh, you to uh, evaluate this dx dy forget about the limits and all first thing is that do you think that you will be able to evaluate this integral I am asking the question separately again I am asking that do you think that you will be able to evaluate this integral pause the video and think about this because if you will integrate it with respect to x first then you have to do this integration e to the power x square dx the question is can you integrate it have you decided uh, I believe that it will be not possible to integrate it with respect to x first so even though in the question it is not given that you have to integrate it with respect to x first or with respect to y first what we should do we should try to integrate it with respect to y first means what means let me first draw the reason so the reason is that let me call this axis x axis and this axis as y axis so the x is varying between uh, 2y to 2 so how do you draw this reason if I ask you 2y is equal to x so it means what that it is basically y is equal to x by 2 so there is a line which is passing through origin at a slope of half so this is the line that is y is equal to x by 2 and uh, the next is x less than or equal to 2 so if I ask you what is x is equal to 2 so there is a line which is parallel to y axis at a distance of 2 unit so this is the line which is x is equal to 2 right so limit uh, it is given means uh, the horizontal strip uh, I can take which will start at 2y I just explain you like this that if you take a horizontal strip here where it will start it will start at 2y and go up to 2 and then this horizontal strip you have to move vertically so that that gives you the limit of y so it moves from y is equal to 0 means it is starting at very close to you know x axis y is equal to 0 and then it is moving and moving and moving and going up to this point so what is this point if you take this line as y is equal to x by 2 and x is equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 so y is equal to 1 so you can clearly see that this point is equal to 1 so you can see from the limit given also that y is varying from 0 to 1 but as I told you that if you take the horizontal strip if you take the horizontal strip means that you have to take the limit of x first means you have to integrate it with respect to x first the question is can you integrate it with respect to x the answer is no it is difficult to integrate it with respect to x so what we should do we should not take the horizontal strip we should take the vertical strip so if I take the vertical strip where it will start the vertical strip will move like this you can see this is how it is moving so are you clear that where it is starting if, <laughs> if I am drawing it I am drawing it from up to down but actually when I am actually I am moving from down to up something like this this is how the strips are moving we take the limit always in the increasing direction of y and increasing direction of x so let me write it e to the power x square and since I am taking a vertical strip means I will take the limit of y first and then I will take the limit of x so what will be the limit of y we are starting at x axis means the limit of y is equal to 0 and then we are going up to this line what is this line this line is y is equal to x by 2 so I will write y is equal to x by 2 and then we are moving this vertical strip from this point that is origin to this point let me call it m so o to m so the coordinate of uh, the you know x coordinate of o is 0 and x coordinate of m is 2 so 0 to 2 now to evaluate it we have the limit 0 to 2 since we have to integrate it with respect to y e to the power x square can be taken as a constant 
integration of dy will be y and the limit of integration is 0 to x by 2 dx. Now I take it limit 0 to 2 e to the power x square into x by 2 and then dx. So we have 1 by 2 constant out 0 to 2 x e to the power x square dx. Okay. Now my question is how many of you will be able to integrate this? Um, you can take pause the video and try to integrate but I am continuing. To integrate this what I am going to do and I am going to continue here. We can use the method of substitution. So what I will do let me explain it. Uh, suppose I take let uh, let me change the color. So suppose I say let uh, u is equal to x square. So what is du? du is equal to 2x dx. But here we have x dx. So what I will do for your convenience I am writing 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 limit is 0 to 2 and then I am writing e to the power x square and we have x dx so I am writing 2x dx. So as you can clearly see that we have e to the power x square as u and 2x dx as du. So I will get 1 by 4 and we have something like if I can help you understand here if I take u is equal to x square it is e to the power u and 2x dx is du right. So basically it is integration of e to the power u is e to the power u. So it is e to the power uh, if I uh, if I write it like this e to the power integration of e to the power x square and the limit is 0 to 2. I have not changed it into u because then I have to change the limit accordingly. So I just kept it in terms of x only but I hope you have understood that it is e to the power x square. So x square I am taking u 2x dx is du so e to the power u du so that is e to the power u which is x square. Now if I put the limit I will get 1 by 4 and e to the power x square means uh, 4 and minus e to the power 0 that is equal to 1. Okay, So this is how uh, the solution of this problem uh, can be done. I hope uh, by now there is no confusion or doubt and I hope you also have realized that uh, why uh, sometimes uh, taking the vertical strip is not actually optional but mandatory because the horizontal strip will not help to evaluate the integral. Okay. I hope you are thinking about this. This is also a very uh, important question. So let us quickly solve and then I will take two problems related to the polar coordinate. So suppose we have to integrate it over the region R where R is the region in the first quadrant already told bounded by the line x is equal to y, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 8 and the curve xy is equal to 16. Drawing the region will always help us. So let me first draw the region. So we have this x-axis and y-axis I already have drawn, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, what is the curve? So x is equal to y. Everyone knows a line passing through origin. x is equal to y. Yes. And uh, then the second one is y is equal to 0 means x-axis already drawn. x is equal to 8 means a line parallel to um, y-axis at a distance of 8 unit. So this is the line that is x is equal to 8 okay and the curve xy is equal to 16. How many of you can draw this curve xy is equal to 16? Basically this is the curve that is the uh, hyperbola right and uh, I don't know how many of you draw uh, know how to draw it but uh, just to uh, help you understand the curve will look like this xy is equal to 16. So basically uh, if you take x very very large this curve will become very very close to x axis and if you take x very very small this curve will become closer to the y axis and there will be another part of this curve which will also lie in the third quadrant right. So actually xy is equal to 16 is these two curves together right. Uh, it is symmetrical also if I you know draw it like this but this part I am not going to consider because uh, they already have highlighted that we have to consider only in the first quadrant so I am going to remove this part right so just let me remove this part okay now uh, what is the reason that is being bounded so it is very important to note here so uh, O or, uh, that is origin this point that is the point M 
this point that is the point N and this point that is the point P. So we are getting a reason OMNP. OMNP is the reason that is bounded by this curves. See, uh, you should remember in case if you are not aware about this curve, you just can remember that if we have something like y is equal to 1 by x, the you know, uh, curve looks like this. This is the equation of the curve y is equal to 1 by x. It should be symmetrical, something like this. I hope you are getting it right. So now the question is that if I have to cover this region and uh, let me draw two lines. Suppose I have drawn a line here and I have drawn a line over here. What is the difference between these two lines you note? Because if you draw the lines, like I am drawing the lines like this, this line, this line, this line. But if I draw a line over here, there is a small difference between these two lines. Can anyone pause the video and let me know? The uh, difference between those, these two lines that if I consider this point, let me call this point uh, MN, suppose I call this point, uh, you know, Q. Let me call this coordinate of this point. Let me change this color also I am calling the coordinate of this point as Q this point Q so did you notice one thing that if you are drawing any vertical line in the left of Q and in the right of origin it is starting at X axis but going up to the line X is equal to Y but if you take any line in the right of Q, it is starting at X axis but going up to this curve that is uh, the curve X, Y is equal to 16. So one strip will not be sufficient here. And this is the main concept that I wanted to highlight through this problem, right? Because this one strip in this case won't be sufficient. It means what? That we have to take the two different kind of strip. One which will move from O to Q and another which will move from Q to M, right? So we need two things. I already know the X coordinate that is 0. I need the X coordinate that is 8, but I need the coordinate of Q. So how do I get the coordinate of Q? So these two curves that is uh, X, Y is equal to 16 and X is equal to Y is intersecting. So it means X squared is equal to 16. So I will get X is equal to plus minus 4. So it is intersecting at point 4 in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant at minus 4 which I am not considering. So let me write the integral. So if I have to integrate it, uh, integration of and when we take a vertical strip it always gives me the limit of y. So it will be x square and then the limit of uh, y that is dy dx and it will start at y is equal to 0 to y is equal to x and it will go move from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 4 right and uh, then plus the next vertical strip which is starting at q so it will start at y is equal to 0 and it will go up to this curve which curve that is x y is equal to 16 so x y is equal to 16 basically is what it is 16 by x so y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 16 by x and then it will start at 4 this vertical strip will start at 4 and go up to 8 so I will say from 4 to 8 that is the limit of X and then X square and then dy and then dx so once we have decided this the rest of the thing is just computation so let me quickly do the computation also so I take limit 0 to 4 X square with respect to y so X square is a constant integration is y and then y is equal to 0 to x and then dx and plus we have 4 to 8 x square y and the limit of y is uh, 0 to 16 by x dx so this is equal to 0 to 4 and x square y minus y is equal to x minus 0 so I will be write x dx and plus uh, f 4 to 8 so x square and into 16 by x minus 0 so this will be 16 by x dx so it will be what it will be x square into x that is x cube so I will write x cube integration is x to the power 4 by 4 limit is 0 to 4 and plus 16 is a constant and this will become x so integration is x square by 2 limit is 4 to 8 so if we simplify it 4 to the power 4 4 to the power 4 is 
फोर टू दी पावर फोर बाई फोर एंड माइनस जीरो सो नो नीड टू राइट एंड सिक्सटीन बाई टू बिकम्स एट एंड एट स्क्वायर दैट इज सिक्सटी फोर माइनस सिक्सटीन सो इफ आई सिंप्लीफाई इट फोर टू दी पावर थ्री सो सिक्सटी फोर एंड प्लस एट इंटू फोर्टी एट सो हाउ मच इज दैट सो लेट मी कैलकुलेट एट इंटू एट सिक्सटी फोर एंड यू कैन कैलकुलेट इट लाइक दिस फोर्टी इंटू एट इज थ्री थ्री ट्वेंटी एंड सिक्सटी फोर सो थ्री एटी फोर प्लस सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी फोर प्लस थ्री एटी फोर सो हाउ मच इज दैट फोर फोर एट एट एंड सिक्स फोर्टीन एंड देन दिस इज फोर सो वी गेट द आंसर दैट इज फोर फोर्टी एट ओके सो वी आर ऑलरेडी अराउंड फोर्टी फाइव मिनट इन द वीडियो बट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो गुड स्पीड बट स्टिल लेट मी टेक टू मोर प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस वीडियो एंड दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड आर यूजली आस्ट सो एक्चुअली द प्रॉब्लम इज गिवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द पोलर कोआर्डिनेट सो ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आई हैव टेकन टिल नाउ वेर इन कार्टिशियन कोआर्डिनेट बट दिस वन इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ पोलर कोआर्डिनेट सो दर इज ए कर्ब विच इज नोन एज कार्डियोड सो वी कैन टॉक ए लॉट अबाउट दिस कर्ब लेट वट इज द कार्डियोड बट आई वुड सजेस्ट यू टू डू वन थिंग जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस कर्ब एंड थिंक अबाउट इट आई एम गोइंग टू डायरेक्टली ड्रॉ दिस कर्ब सो दिस कर्ब एज यू कैन सी द नेम सजेस्ट कार्डियोड something uh, you know related to cardiology cardiology is something which is related with heart right so it is a very romantic kind of curve romantic curves you can call so the curve actually uh, you know if i can draw it for your convenience this is how it will look like so uh, this line actually in polar coordinate is known as the initial line right and uh, if you take theta is equal to 0 here you will get r is equal to a right uh, sorry theta is equal to 0 so you will get r is equal to 0 means you will get this point and if you take theta is equal to pi uh, so r is equal to 2a right so at theta is equal to pi r is equal to 2a so the curve actually looks like this this is how it will look like can you see uh, in popular perception this is how the heart look like but actually this is not the way heart look like romantic people you know and this is the creation of just the market or media that this is how the heart look like so but anyway uh, we have to uh, evaluate it over the initial line means this is the initial line and we have to evaluate the integral over it so means we have to take this region if i call it o and if i call it a so we have to cover this region this is how the reason i have to cover right and uh, this is the reason that i am going to cover okay so you can see the reason that i have to cover but how to cover this region in case of polar coordinate and that i have to understand so in polar coordinates we don't take the horizontal or vertical strip to cover the reason rather we take the strip which starts at you know uh, which gives you the limit of r right so you see how i am going to move i am going to move it like this i am starting at r is equal to 0 and moving it like this right i am moving it like this always starting at 0 and moving it like this right moving it like this if you want to draw the arrow you know you have seen this kind of picture in the on the temple's wall that people dry you know uh, draw a heart and then they draw arrows and they write some you know message that deepika loves ranbir or ranbir loves alia this kind of message yes so this is how we have covered the reason uh, starting at this point and going up to this point right so uh, in polar coordinate actually you have to take the limit of two thing one is r and another is theta right so when you uh, start uh, you always start uh, you know in this per particular problem i mean i am not saying always because in some of the polar coordinate problem that i am going to discuss in the next video where r may not necessarily start at 0 but here it is all starting at 0 and going up to the you know uh, cardioid so if i am taking the uh, first strip i am i am i am drawing the line at this uh, you know angle at theta is equal to 0 angle and then when we are moving it we are moving the theta so at this point the theta becomes uh, pi by 2 and when i have drawn the last line that theta is equal to 
theta is equal to uh, you know pi so what is this this is r uh, sin theta and dr d theta and if i have to write the limit of r it is starting at 0 and going up to the you know cardioid so the cardioid curve is r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta right uh, I would suggest you to think about what is the cardioid equation if I write r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta, r is equal to a into 1 minus sin theta, r is equal to a into 1 plus sin theta. So you should try to think about those possibilities. Uh, I can discuss but this video will become too long. So I am avoiding this. In case if you want I can create a separate video. Let me know through the comment. And then I have to take the limit of theta. So theta as I told you if I can draw this curve again for better understanding. So this is how this curve look like. Yes, I, this is how this curve look like. Uh, pardon me for not being able to draw this vector vector picture. You may say that I have drawn your heart in a very bad way. <laughs> I am not that romantic guy. Anyway, so if I draw the first line, it goes like this. So it is a starting at theta is equal to 0. And you see the theta is changing. Theta pi by 4, then theta pi by 2 going up to this. So theta is changing from 0 to pi. Okay. Now I have to evaluate it. So the evaluation process remains same. You take theta is equal to 0 to pi. Uh, since you have to integrate it with respect to r first, so sin theta will be constant. So I take sin theta and integration of r will give me r square by 2 whose limit will be uh, r is equal to 0 to r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta and then d theta so that is uh, going to be what that is going to be 1 by 2 is a constant and limit of theta is theta is equal to 0 to pi and uh, if i put r square that is a square into 1 minus cos theta whole square and if I put r is equal to 0 it will become 0 so no need to write and then we have sin theta so I write sin theta d theta now how to integrate this so to integrate this I will uh, use the change of variable and what is the change of variable I am going to do I am going to take u is equal to 1 minus cos theta uh, I will di write directly here so I am explaining it in this side then du will be equal to derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta we already have a minus so it will be sin theta d theta so you can clearly see that if I take this uh, this thing 1 minus cos theta as u so this will become what this will become u square and the sin theta d theta the sin theta d theta actually will be uh, you know du so uh, I can take this a square out I can take this a square out so it will become a square by 2 and this is u square and du so it will be what it will be u cube by 3 so it will be 1 minus cos theta cube by 3 and integration limit is 0 to pi in case if you feel like you have not understood then try to solve it on your own right uh, so uh, if I uh, put the limit theta so this 3 is constant out so it will become a square by 6 uh, cos pi so cos pi is how much uh, minus 1 you know cos 0 is equal to 1 cos pi is equal to minus 1 so 1 minus 1 is how much uh, uh, 2 so 2 cube will be 8 right and minus if I put 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so a square by 6 8 minus 0 so I got 8 by 6 that is 4 by 3 and then that is a square so this is the uh, you know integral over the initial line uh, and this part of the cardioid okay so I hope by now the things are clear before I move uh, or complete this video I am going to solve this video this is a very important uh, not solve this video sorry <laughs> see this is what happens when you are uh, creating a long video so I am going to solve this problem in this video not uh, the video right so calculate this over the area included between the circle r is equal to 2 sin theta and r is equal to 4 sin theta again I would suggest you to think that how these curves can be drawn but uh, I'm not going into the detail of it I'm just directly drawing the curve here uh, so if I ask you what is r is equal to 2 sin theta so the curve will look like this this is a circle this is the equation of a circle right r is equal to 2 sin theta right and uh, the equation of the circle r is equal to 4 sin theta will be a bigger circle let me draw it 
passing through origin and you know <laughs> it does not look like a circle sorry let me redraw it but i hope you understand the feeling not the you know picture right so this is r is equal to uh, 2 sin theta and the outer circle is r is equal to 4 sin theta how to remember this if you take theta is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 but if you take theta is equal to pi by 2 this r becomes 2 so this length here is 2 and the total length is actually 4 right because i i r is what r is the distance of the point from the origin so actually when we measure the angle we measure the angle in anti clockwise sense so at theta is equal to 0 r is uh, you know uh, 2 sin 0 so that is equal to 0 but if i take theta pi by 2 i will get r 2 sin pi by 2 so 2 sin pi by 2 is equal to 2 so we have to find the area which is uh, included uh, we calculated over the area included between these two circles means we have to take this region this is the reason that is included between these two circles okay so how to uh, evaluate this integral so i am going to take the limits so uh, can you guess what will be the limit of r this is r cube dr d theta so as you can see that when I am taking these strips, it is always starting at outer circle and going, sorry, inner circle and going up to the outer circle. So what is the uh, inner circle? That inner circle is r is equal to 2 sin theta. And it is going up to what? It is going up to r is equal to 4 sin theta. And when I have uh, drawn the very first strip, I hope you can clearly see. Let me draw the picture again. If you draw this, the first strip that you have taken was actually at r is e theta is equal to 0 and the last strip that you take is at theta is equal to pi so theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to pi can you see this this strip the very you know i mean i hope you can visualize that i when i'm drawing it it is becoming a thick line but the very first strip will start at this point and go up to this point so theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to pi now let us quickly evaluate it so this is equal to theta is equal to 0 to pi integration of r cube will be actually r to the power 4 by 4 limit is 2 sin theta to 4 sin theta and t theta and then uh, if i put it uh, 1 by 4 is a constant sin uh, sorry integration from 0 to pi and 4 to the power 4 4 to the power 4 sin to the power 4 theta minus 2 to the power 4 sin to the power 4 theta and uh, then uh, we have to integrate this d theta so this is equal to what this is equal to 4 to the power 4 means uh, 16 into 16 256 and minus 16 240 240 by 4 so it will become 60 and sin to the power 4 theta so 0 to pi and then uh, limit is uh, sine to the power 4 theta d theta i would suggest you to complete this integral i i i i expect you to complete this integral or let me write uh, the first step because after that i will leave so i am writing it 60 and then 0 to pi sine square theta sine to the power 4 theta can be written as sine square theta square d theta right which i can write 60 0 to pi and sine square theta can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 whole square d theta and then it will be 60 by 4 and integral of 0 to pi and if i square it i will get 1 plus cos square 2 theta minus 2 cos 2 theta d theta okay uh, we don't have a space so i'm writing it here in the top so uh, this will be like what this will be 60 by 4 is 15 and 0 to pi 1 plus cos square 2 theta using the trigonometric result can again be written as 1 plus cos 4 theta by 2 and minus 2 cos 2 theta and this we have to integrate with respect to theta so let me complete it 15 integration of 1 and from this i will get 1 by 2 so i will get 3 by 2 this one term and from this 1 by 2 so 3 by 2 and then theta plus integration of cos 4 theta will give me sine 4 theta by 4 
and integration of not plus this will be a minus sign so I write it minus and 2 and integration of cos 2 theta will give me sin 2 theta by 2 and limit I put 0 to pi so if I put limit 0 to pi sin 4 pi is 0 and sin 0 is 0 so this term will go to 0 sin 2 pi 0 and sin 0 is 0 so this term will also become 0 so here I will get 15 into 3 that is 45 by 2 and uh, then theta pi minus 0 is equal to pi so the correct answer is 22.5 pi this is a very important result you can remember also so the answer for this problem is 22.5 pi right uh, if I ask you a question that uh, uh, what will be the circle that is r is equal to 2 cos theta so r is equal to 2 cos theta will be like this symmetrical about the initial line right and like 4 cos theta will be this so here also this question can be asked that what is the integral which is bounded between 2 cos theta and 4 cos theta so I would suggest you to integrate this right so in this questions we have solved uh, 7 question I, I guess and I think it is uh, all important question I hope you have understood it so in the next video I will be talking about change of order of integration and then I will be uh, talking about change of variables so I'll be uh, uploading many videos in this topic this is an important topic uh, so let me know through the comment section in case if you enjoyed the video and have understood it you can like the video as well and share with all your friends so thanks for watching have a great day